This is white ash or American ash, Fraxinus americana. It's a tree of eastern North America, but it doesn't extend very far north in Wisconsin, nor in Minnesota. It's one of four ash species we have in Wisconsin. Let's talk about how to distinguish it. So like all Fraxinus, this tree has opposite leaves. You can see they're opposite here that are pinnately compound, pinnately compound. So opposite pinnately compound leaves are a feature of all Fraxinus. And most of these op, um, compound leaves have seven leaflets. You can see there are seven leaflets on this leaf here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it ranges from five to nine. Five to seven is most common, but some of them will have nine leaflets. The uh, way you can really tell white ash from the other species of ash is if you look at the length of the little leaflet stalks or petiolules, the leaflet stalks are rather long. They're almost a centimeter or about a third to a half an inch long. And that distinguishes this white ash from other ashes in Wisconsin. And also the undersides are quite white. And when it's blowing in the wind, you can see this kind of white color, silvery color under the leaves that green ash, black ash, and some of the other ashes in Wisconsin lack. So the white undersides helps a lot. White ash is also not a very hairy plant. There aren't really hairs present on the leaves and that will help you tell it apart from the green ash. Let's look at some of the features of the twig as well. So on the twig of white ash, you can see the leaf scars, right, which are the scars left when the leaf falls off, is a crescent shape or a narrow smile shape surrounding the scar of the lateral bud there. So it's a smile shaped scar, leaf scar, and the terminal bud looks a little bit like a chocolate chip. They're brown, and somewhat rounded coming to a little bit of a point, quite like a chocolate chip. From the bark, it can be difficult to tell the white ash from green ash, but with a trained eye, you can see a few distinguishing characters. The bark is nicely, tightly woven, very regular looking bark, like green ash. But white ash has these, it's a more blocky appearance, and you occasionally get these um, horizontal breakages or horizontal lines in the bark that break the fissures up into more like blocks. White ash has fabulous wood. It's very strong and it's used for things like tool handles and famously for making ash baseball bats. Unfortunately, ashes right now are under assault by the emerald ash borer and white ash is as susceptible as the other species in the state.